welcome. We would like to introduce you to a new and very innovative product which seeks to assist drivers, all drivers, but especially those who may have recently passed their driving test and are new to the road and new to driving alone. If you have been given this product as a gift by a friend or partner, it is not intended as a subtle message that they think you need help as a driver. It is because they care about your well-being and because there are many bad drivers on our roads. And this guide will help you avoid the consequences of encountering them. This guide will help any driver of the responsibility involved in getting behind the wheel of what is effectively a lethal weapon. If you have been given this product by your employer, it is because they want you to be safe when you are travelling around the region or even around the country in pursuance of the company's business or in simply getting to your place of work using your own transport. This shows you that your employers care about your well-being and by giving you this product, they want to improve your chances of staying out of hospital or worse. All of us need reminders about some best practice when it comes down to even routine driving tasks. Some simple things will get us back on track. This guide of 50 topics will help. It will take no more than 50 minutes to view end to end. One. Eyes and neck. Your eyes and your neck have equal importance, right? OK, eyes are obvious, but if you want to stay alive, you need to use your neck all of the time you are at the wheel. Here's a rule. Nothing should ever overtake you on the outside or the inside that you did not know was coming. If indeed that does happen, it means you are not using your neck enough and one day you will likely find yourself moving out to overtake the vehicle in front and driving into something about to pass you. There is always a blind spot, but if you are using your neck as well as your eyes and mirror, you should always be aware of what is about to pass you on either side. Two, distance. Distance matters. The closer you are to the vehicle in front, the less you can see ahead and the less time you have to react to anything. The faster you are going, the more this matters. And when traffic comes to a halt, even at traffic lights, leave a big enough gap between you and the vehicle in front that would allow you to drive out to avoid something that is about to crash into you from behind. One day, this habit will save you from serious injury or death. 3. Look several vehicles ahead all the time. Look ahead. Always be taking account of vehicles 3 or 4, even 5 in front. If they are braking, you will see the lights, or if they are swerving all over the road, then you should already be getting ready to slow or stop, or risk doing the same and having to swerve to avoid other vehicles. Then you need to consider what's behind you, and whether they have seen the looming incident. 4. View ahead blocked by HGV or van or bus. A big vehicle such as a HGV or even a van is in front of you. Your forward vision is seriously reduced. So stay 50% further back than you would if you were following a car. To get the most value from this guide, make use of pause, rewind and replay. As you view this guide, you will see there is a lot happening and a lot to take in. You may find it helps if occasionally you click pause, rewind to the beginning of the current clip 
then restart replay of the film. In addition to the audio commentary, you can, of course, pause the film and read the guide text on screen to fully digest at your leisure. Some guide points are brief, others are longer. Take your time to digest each one. It will be worth it. Five, losing it. A skid or an aquaplane, this can happen to even the best of drivers. Don't slam the brakes, which is your instinct, so try to avoid your instinct. Ease your foot off the accelerator. Steer gently into the direction of the skid until grip returns. If you are lucky, you will get away with no collisions. If you hit the brakes hard, you will likely lose all control and where you finish up is out of your hands, at home or in hospital or worse, toss the coin. You will encounter a skid if you drive. It's just a matter of when. Look out for standing water on any road, but especially on motorways or any faster stretches. If you see what looks like a small lake, initially just ease off the accelerator to improve your chances of keeping control, if the worst happens. 6. Routine TLC for your vehicle Tires and brakes, wipers and washers and lights. When you really need these, you want them to work. Otherwise, you may die, and so may others. Keep all of these always in good maintenance. Monthly check of tyres as a minimum. Weekly check of brakes. Find a spot where there are no other vehicles around and carry out an emergency stop to test the state of the braking system. Wipers should be replaced if there is any regular smearing caused by the rubbers eroding. Vision is imperative when at the wheel. No windscreen water will mean no vision. If there's suddenly a dirty stretch of road, it's too late when you find you are driving blind. The inside of your windscreen should also be kept clean. Bright sunlight hitting a greasy internal screen will make you blind to the road ahead. And this can happen quickly and at high speed as you follow a gentle bend in the road. It can be scary. Keep the internal windscreen clean at all times. If your side lights are not functioning, you are at serious risk of not being seen on roads with no street lighting. For the cost of a bulb, you risk a head-on incident. Not clever. Check very regularly, front and back. Check that your spare wheel is inflated once per month and before any significant journey. 7. Flat tyre. Now what? If you drive, you must know how to change a wheel on your car. Know what a jacking point is and why it matters. Know how to tighten the wheel nuts. There is an important sequence to tightening and how you need to do this both with your car still on the jack and again as you lower the wheel to contact with the road. It's not rocket science, but you are in danger if you get stuck somewhere and you have to do this yourself. You have to know the risks of getting it wrong if you are forced to change a wheel yourself. If you want to drive, you must learn how to do this and practice it a couple of times or more. 8. But I had right of way. This tip will one day save your life and potentially anyone else who is in your car. Never assume that because you have right of way that other vehicles have also spotted that you have it. At any junction, any crossroads, any roundabout, any traffic lights, always look both ways as you emerge through the crossroad or enter the roundabout. Some roundabouts are controlled by traffic lights, so this rule applies equally here. One day you will avoid death or serious injury if you always assume something might be coming the other way, 
even where you have clear precedence and right of way. It is no good being dead and saying it was his fault. Check out YouTube to see some horrific accidents at supposedly safe crossroads controlled by traffic lights. Don't become a statistic. Nine, filtering to join a fast road. Joining a fast road. There are many situations where you are required to filter onto another road, often on a dual carriageway or motorway, but even single carriageway roads have these as well. Always signal your intention to join. Judge the speed of the traffic you are joining and slow down or speed up to join seamlessly and into a gap. If you are on the main road and someone else is joining in from the left, let them. Or better, move out early to make it easy for them and for you. Some slip roads appear to have two lanes to join. Never be in an overtaking manoeuvre position as you reach the main road. Because two cars joining in such circumstances could cause you serious injury or death sooner or later. 10. But why don't you just go? Roundabout approach and entry. Do not assume that the car in front of you will pull out onto the roundabout even when there is clearly plenty of time and space to do so. Get this wrong and you will drive into the back of the vehicle in front as your attention is looking to the right and it will be your fault completely. Keep your attention to the front until the vehicle in front has clearly fully emerged.
This guide is aimed mainly at drivers who have recently passed their test and also at younger new drivers. However, much of the content of the guide will have a significant degree of benefit even to greatly experienced drivers, some of whom may have become complacent and forgotten some of the risks they face when behind the wheel daily. There is something in this schedule of driving tips for a majority of the drivers on our roads, even the very good ones. If just one of the 50 guide points here helps you avoid being involved in a road incident, your time reading and your expense in purchasing will have proved a fantastic investment. Purchase this guide as a gift to someone you care about. Tell them not to be offended and that it is not a critique of their driving. It's a way of keeping them safe. Get in touch and tell us about the incident you almost had but managed to avoid because of what you had read here. These staying alive to drive tips provide the viewer with the insight and benefit of things seen and in some cases personally experienced by the product author John Walsh in over 50 years driving on our UK roads. If you take note of these words of advice, over time you will witness and sadly you will probably experience precisely the many types of risk you are running just by becoming a driver. Hopefully, this guide will permit you to survive intact and with no points, no claims and with fewer fines to pay, you will benefit financially many times over the purchase cost of this product.